Hi guys, so I was late doing the recipe from December's BBC Good Food magazine as I was really busy with Christmas but yesterday I finally got around to making these beautiful halloumi fries with a harissa yogurt dip. They were so tasty, flavoured with za'atar as well and because halloumi never really melts they just had a really interesting texture. So start off by zesting a lemon, just make sure you get the very outer part of the yellow skin here, don't get any of the white underneath, that's way too bitter. Then add the zest to a bowl and save the rest of the lemon to serve as wedges with the halloumi. Add about 170 grams of natural yogurt, I'm using Greek yogurt here. Next add just a little pinch of sea salt flakes, followed by 3 teaspoons of this beautiful spicy harissa paste. Then I mixed it up until it was nice and combined, but you can mix it less if you like, so each time you dip you will get a different amount of yogurt and harissa. Now just set that aside until the halloumi fries are ready. To do this just take two 250 gram blocks of halloumi and just chop them into chunky fries. Then take a bowl with 75 grams of plain flour and add about three tablespoons of this za'atar. This is a really herby mixture used in North African cooking and Middle Eastern cooking and it'll give a really really flavoursome crust to the fries. Once that's all mixed in, go ahead and start adding the halloumi. Now stir them all up to make sure that they're all lightly coated in the spicy mixture. And you don't have to be too gentle here, these are pretty tough fries so a spoon or a fork will do to mix them all up. Once they're all nice and coated, it's time to deep fry. Take a heavy base pot and add some vegetable or sunflower oil to it, so it is about 3 centimeters deep. Now I'm using this candy thermometer to tell when the oil reaches 180 degrees Celsius. If you don't have one though, just when it's hot, drop in a small cube of bread and if it turns golden brown in 30 seconds, it's hot enough. Add the fries in small batches so the oil temperature won't drop too dramatically and leave them fry for 2 minutes. Then take them out with a slotted spoon and let them drain on some kitchen towel before you start again. When they're all fried, pile them up on a board next to the harissa dip and the lemon wedges. Sprinkle over another little pinch of the za'atar and tear over some fresh mint leaves. Add a little spritz of lemon juice, dunk into the dip and enjoy. This really is so nice with a glass of wine. Thanks so many for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, if you did hit the like button below and the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on social media, you'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org